What's going on, YouTubers? Welcome to another video. So we got to talk about KD Collectibles newest stuff that they have just dropped on us. First, they have teased a eight year anniversary statue, which is obviously the Z Warriors. You can see Tian, Yamcha, Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta. There's going to be Chiaotzu, Gohan, and Trunks. So this is the Cell Saga. And you can also see a bunch of Dragon Balls here. So this is a direct competition to the Infinite Studios one, although I know KD's been working on this for over a year. Uh, and he claims it's going to, you know, just be absolutely incredible, amazing sculpt. And I'm super excited. I've always wanted a Z Warrior statue, and this is a huge deal for me. So, you know, I would say there's a 99.9% .9 chance this is coming home to the Flint Cave. I'll do a more in-depth preview once we do get full photos, but this looks incredible. Nine characters. And I hear the price tax can be really competitive. Secondly, we got to check out Katie's latest drop, which is this one. So there's a long thing you guys can read. I'm not going to read it to you. Nevertheless, it's a 1-4 scale Goku versus Vegeta Frieza. So this is, you know, obviously like a more buff Super Saiyan Goku and a, you know, full power Frieza. So it's in the, you know, super intensity of the battle. There's rocks and this wa dynamic water flowing that looks really good and i believe there will be also some magna on the base from what i'm hearing and of course the classic kd underbase which i freaking love their underbases you know let's just uh check out some of the photos you know there is frieza and i'm real happy this time kd has fixed the frieza color you know in the original frieza they did it was more pinkish with a little bit of purple hue this is a perfect purple uh, likeness looks fantastic detail looks amazing super buff and big how he should be veiny you know and this is like the battle damage you see here and of course the blood and everything so it looks fantastic there is goku also, lots of battle damage, blood, great textures, and so forth. I don't know 100% if this is, like, a physical prototype or just the 3D render. I'm kind of thinking it's the 3D render, but it almost looks physical. However, I would guess 3D. Yeah, so this is expected to release Q2 2024. Uh, it is available to pre-order at natsukashicreations.com. Uh, so, you know, deposit $349. And do we have dimensions of this bad boy? I know it's one-fourth, but... Um, yeah, I don't see any. But looking at it, I would probably say 22 inches tall, 18 inches wide, 15 inches deep. Although I, I am happy that the you know price is basically the same price as like his Goku and Vegeta, Frieza was. They were you know basically seven fifty. It seems like KD is able to keep his one four scales for the most part seven hundred and fifty bucks. The bus, you know, or I can't even remember how much is like this Goku bust. So five hundred deposit. And I think it's six hundred upon completion. So it's a twelve hundred dollar bust. You know, and this one's actually huge, double-armed, like the, you know, Goku and Vegeta Super Saiyan 4. I think these do look incredible. I'm just, you know, not collecting GT. You know, and I like his, you know, Gogeta, Vegeta. The only thing I don't like is the exact same pose. I, I'm not a fan of that personally. You know, but they do look good, no doubt. His Super Boo is also shipping now. That one's crazy big, too. You know, as you can see, in general, KD statues, you know, like, they sell out. Like, these are still in pre-order, not shipped. They're sold out. You know, his stuff does sell out, and it generally has pretty good resale value from what I've seen. So, you know, I'm not even sure if we've seen a Goku vs. Frieza in 1 fourth. I know there's been a ton of 1 6. I own the VKH, the MRC ones in the past. I like this one more. And obviously being one-fourth scale, you know, and if you're collecting basically KD dioramas, you could have this, the Vegito versus, you know, 19. And let's see, he has the Androids diorama, the Janemba diorama. So, you, you know, you got quite a few different one-fourth scale dioramas, and I think they'd all look fantastic together. You know, 
for me in my display, you know, the only technical diorama I have right now is Broly holding Goku. So that's a diorama. If I wanted to go full-fledged diorama, I would need to basically buy all the KD ones I just mentioned. Because I think they'd all look best together. I like to separate my dioramas from my single statues. You know, and so... I do like this quite a bit, though. I think it's awesome. You know, I would love even just, like, Goku versus Frieza. I mean, realistically, it should be Gohan versus Cell, and then Goku versus Boo. All three dioramas together. I mean, you could do Goku versus Cell, but the real final battle was Gohan for Cell Saga. Nevertheless, I think KD did a fantastic job with a great price tag. Shipping's probably going to be 300 bucks. So at the end of the day, you're still spending about $1,000 for this. Two one-four scale statues, great base, great underbase, fantastic detail. And we know KD doesn't disappoint when it comes to paint and detail. So, yeah, overall, I like it quite a bit. I would love to get it, but space and money is tight in the Flint Cave right now. So, unfortunately, I won't be getting this. I'm waiting for KD to do a Frieza bust, because I would love to get that. And Androids is something I do want to get, because they're the best-looking Androids in the market. I almost bought that Janem, but never did. I'm super happy, though, with, like, my Vegeta bust. That's the most recent KD I got. That thing is so damn good. You know, and his Gohan and Father and Son sell so good. You know... But and so yeah, overall, let me know what you guys think of this Goku vs. Freeze. It's available for PO. I'll put the link in the description below where you guys can, you know, pre-order this. You know, they have payment plans or just deposit options. I'm always a deposit type of guy, but you know, I understand if you want to do like 43 bucks a week for 16 weeks. I mean, that's not terrible. It's you know, not bad at all, honestly. But yeah, I like it. Fantastic statue. But I am much more looking forward to this right here this is what interests me much much more because you're getting nine characters the entire z warrior cast from literally the opening scene so that to me is just you know this is something i've wanted since day one of collecting i'm like i want the entire z warriors on one statue so i'm real happy that kd is doing this i'm pretty sure i've told him many times to do this so, very happy. So, this is one I'm looking forward to and definitely would be coming to the Flint Cave as long as it can fit, which I've confirmed it can, and price is reasonable. Which, according to him, a nine-character epic without a nine-character price tag. Our gift to you. That sounds real good to me, KD. Uh, yeah, and if you guys have as well, KD does have their own Facebook group. It's just literally KD, say, where he gives teasers before other groups and so forth, so... You know, KD is still, in my opinion, the best DBZ, you know, statue creator out there without a doubt. You know, there's, I mean, the closest competition probably right now, as far as I can tell, is going to be Whitehole Studios. I still have never bought anything from them just because it doesn't really interest me. I love KD's sculpts and statues, and that's what interests me. You know, them, Sume, Pram 1, those are like the three I really care for. Ryu, some stuff like their Boo, I just actually paid for Boo. So that should ship here soon, and hopefully we can get it by the month end. I would love to get that kid boo, because it looks fantastic. Anyways, folks, that is it. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.